Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski and today I want to show you a very very simple uh, model that you can create yourself to evaluate uh, how much money you need to start your business idea uh, what is the profit, what, what is the profit of your business idea uh, so this uh, financial model will be very simple so I will create it from um, um, an empty clear um, Excel spreadsheet as you can see we have nothing uh, right now on the screen um, also you can order financial business models from scratch you can call us anytime uh, but today I want to show you if you have uh, uh, no knowledge in financing uh, this information I will show you this will give you 90% uh, of um, you will understand how much money you will need to start your business um, what will be the profitability uh, when will be the payback period of uh, your money you are going to invest in your business idea so let's start uh, first of all let's prepare our uh, calculations First of all, we need to create a timeline for our financial model. Um, by the way, all inputs in our financial model will be marked like this. Um, also, I, I also recommend, uh, often recommend uh, all entrepreneurs when they create financial models to mark uh, all inputs with a, a certain color uh, because when you um, go to the end of financial modeling, you want to create different scenarios or you will send your financial model to your investor, for example and uh, he will need to create new scenarios and you will have to uh, find your inputs uh, easily um, so and if you mark your inputs with a certain color it will be easy for investors in for banker or uh, whoever to find your inputs and create new scenarios new stress test to create stress tests for your financial model um, So now let's create timeline. I will use 10 year, 10 years timeline.
timeline will be automatic if, uh, for example, you want to uh, go back to your business idea, for example, when a year, um, um, the new year comes, you will just have to uh, adjust the first year of your projections and all your calculations will um, set. For example, if we want to uh, go back to our uh, our investing project here, for example, in 2022, Now let's create uh, the moment when we start our operating activity. Um, for this, uh, we're doing the following. Um, it is the first moment when we get our revenue. For example, our operating activity will st it will start at November 2021. Because it is uh, input market uh, with color like this.
So first of all, we have to put uh, one number uh, when our operating activity starts, because this will uh, be um, the start point for all our revenues, for all our expenses, fixed costs, direct costs. Um, Now it's November here. Uh, now we create a reverse countdown of uh, months of investment stage. So we made some preparations for our financial modeling. Um, this is the moment when we start our operating activity. This is uh, the, uh, the time when our operating activity uh, does exist. Uh, this is the number of months of operating activity. This is the end of investment activity. 
and this is um, investment activity um, reversed uh, till the moment of uh, start of operating activity. So uh, now let's talk about products or services we are going to sell. Um, for example, Um, for example, we have five products. Price will be, for example, This is the price. This is uh, these are direct costs per one uh, unit. These are the inputs. So mark, mark them with our special color. Then we enter the sales plan, how many units per month we are going to sell. Um, what we have to do now is to create some switch on and switch off button um, to make include and or exclude uh, this each product from uh, calculations when we uh, create cash flow statement. Um, most of entrepreneurs want to see how their business idea will work with, with or without this or that product. Uh, and for this purpose, we need to create switch on and switch off button for each product to make this opportunity happen. So we go, we go here, create, uh, create list of statuses on and off.
uh, then um, we'd better create some coefficient also for cash flow statement because later when we create a uh, cash flow statement when we see the profitability when we see the payback period how much money you need and all that stuff we will uh, need for example we will um, we will need to adjust the revenue from product one, two, three, or four. What will happen if the revenue increases or decreases up to 30%, up to, up to 10% for each product? And uh, for this uh, purpose, we will have to create uh, a special coefficient. Um, the basic uh, value of, of this coefficient will be 100%. For example, we see the payback period and see how much money we need, but we see the profitability uh, diagram. And then we will uh, ask uh, ourselves what will happen if the revenue will uh, decrease uh, up to 30%. We'll just type here 70% of this basic revenue. And uh, we will look at the diagram uh, and see uh, what happened with the profitability, what happened with payback period and so on. So the basic number of this coefficient is 100% um, and when we will uh, get the end result, we can adjust this uh, coefficient and see different scenarios. So we can create even different copies of this financial model and see what happens if revenue decreases for product number one, if revenue rises uh, up to example 20% for product number 2 and so on. So this coefficient is for this. So here we can switch on and switch off different products. So here is coefficient of um, uh, rising and or increasing or decreasing for revenue and direct cost for each product. Um, what we do next? Um, Uh, now we have to put this, uh, re this revenue and direct cost uh, into our timeline that we just created. Uh, what is interesting and very important for any entrepreneur? The problem with the new business idea, with each new business idea, is that the, front, the, is that the investment project doesn't reach its revenue uh, right in the first month and we uh, reach it uh, step by step. And now we have to create some interface for adjustment uh, how, how, uh, how soon we reach the, this planned revenue because uh, if, we, um, if we set up that we achieve the planned revenue right in the first month we won't see operational losses and if we won't see uh, operational losses, we won't see the real, uh, the real amount of uh, financing that we need to start our business idea. So, um, what we will do now, we will uh, create 24 months 
my interface for inputs uh, for reaching uh, this revenue. So for detailed financial modeling of the uh, for our operational activity, uh, let's create the first uh, 24 months of, um, um, of business, of our business idea. So what we have to do now is Um, we know that the first month of our operation, um, operational activity is November. November 2021. Now we have to uh, set up the number of months um, that is the month of our operating activity. So we have the number of months now when we start our operating activity. Then um, this last one as well.
Now we have the mods. Then So now we have pretty timeline for the first 24 months of creating activity. And here we can set up the speed of reaching the uh, this planned revenue, this planned revenue, and this planned direct costs. Um, what we will do now, for example, here we'll set up the percent. For example, for product one, the speed of gaining the planned revenue will be this. For our product, the speed may be another, for example, kind of like this. So these parameters are just when you can make lots of scenarios, lots of copies of your financial model and uh, when you create uh, your cash flow, uh, you will be interested in uh, uh, creating lots of variants of uh, your uh, work development of your business and uh, um, the process that I show you at the moment will help you easily create uh, these scenarios because you will be very interested to know what if this, what if that and so on.
and afterwards yeah. this amount when 24 months will be over So we've um, set up the percentage. Now we will we'll, um, set up in dollars. So here we describe how we reach the bank revenue. Now we will do the same for direct costs. So here we have the revenue during the first 24 months of operating activity. Here we have direct costs of the first 24 months. And um, what instruments we have to adjust on our scenario. For example, we can easily switch on and switch off each product. Um, without switching, uh, we can decrease, for example, revenue. We can uh, uh, say that, for example, if we have the revenue ten percent of, of what we planned, what will happen to um, to payback period, profitability, and so on. So here, here we have plenty of opportunities to test our business idea. Um, what we have to do now? Here with you. Here we have the rare costs. And now we have to put this uh, revenue and direct costs our timeline. We have to put it here to November 2021. November 2021. Let's do it.
and here we have to describe the scenarios we use a function for that So now we will assign the revenue of, um, um, of this month to this um, the month in timeline. Now we're done with formula. Well, that's extra time.
so that is what we were fighting for so um, here is our revenue so this data data move this with art and we don't have to we type this data, for example, if we want to offset um, when we start out the operation here, for example, we want to start it at um, January. So we put radical here. We can for example, this picture. Revenue from product number two. Disappeared. So we can move what will be the payment period if we want, for example, without revenue from the product number two. And for example, we can see what if um, revenue from product number four will be. And over, uh, over, and this will affect this line. And we are fighting for maximum of optimization of our financial model because when the financial model is ready. Um, want to convince yourself that it is stable uh, and uh, to do that you will have to create lots of scenarios and if uh, the working with data is uh, it's hard and you have to type lots of information lots of, lots of data uh, that will be inconvenient for you to do that if it is inconvenient for you this will be inconvenient for your partners will you will send this file also inconvenient for you banker for your investor and so on so um let's mark our inputs it is easy uh, to create new scenarios to for example adjust the speed of reaching um our, our revenue it is easy to uh, adjust uh, to include and include different products from our revenue to um just percentage to adjust this coefficient so you may say for example I don't need it now but when you create the model uh, you will see the uh, profitability index net present value and so on 100% um, loss of entrepreneurs uh, they want to play with uh, with these uh, coefficients with this data with this data because playing with this data, with speed of reaching uh, the revenue, you uh, you play with your break, the speed of reaching your break-even point. And uh, when you play with break-even point, you see uh, how much money you need to start. You see the, the amount of financing you need to start the business because the speed of reaching the break-even break point affects the amount of financing you need. But uh, the longer the period of reaching breaking point, the more financing you need to start your business. Um, now let's do the same for direct costs.
that we've connected uh, direct costs to the revenue and uh, now we are ready for our investment plan to uh, make them um, uh, to make a model for uh, investment plan this will be the topic uh, of our next video if this video was useful for you uh, you may uh, give us a like subscribe our channel or you can also order financial model of your business idea uh, from scratch we will uh, listen to you we will uh, ask you lots of questions about your business idea we'll have lots of interviews about reviews about how uh, the revenue um, is generated in your business idea uh, how different types of uh, costs uh, generated uh, in your business idea and we will create a unique financial model of your business idea so you can play with your inputs uh, create lots of your scenarios of uh, your future um, um, operation activities. Uh, so, see you in next videos. Bye.